New at three, there are haircuts and then there's the mullet. Over the years, it's become a part of pop culture. And this week, a kid from Newport Ritchie is having his mullet moment. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows why he needs your help. It's business in the front, party in the back for nine-year-old Caden Manning. When I went to school on the first day, all my friends were saying, like the haircut, and some were saying, what happened to your head? Caden got the idea to grow the neck warmer from his own stepdad, who is in a mullet chat group with his best friends. Uh, we hear nice mullet, sweet mullet, whether at the baseball fields or, you know, out at the beach anywhere. Everybody loves the mullet. Caden's family never thought their son's Tennessee top hat would make him famous until they discovered the website mulletchamp.com. I said, wow, those are some pretty good mullets, and I want mine to be like that. Out of 500 entries in the kids category, Caden, with his signature American flag, found himself in the top 25. Now it's up to the public to vote for the winner. First prize is $2,500. He's such a sweet kid. He said, I'll give you some. I said, no, that's your haircut, your mullet. I said, that's going right in your bank account. But maintaining a championship mane isn't all glitz and glamour. Sometimes when I'm sweating, it gets stuck to my neck, but I still like it. How do you take care of your mullet? What's your secret? I use Old Spice conditioner. So what does mom think about all this? They have both tried to convince me to cut my hair into a mullet. I'm not that far yet, but I like it on them. How long do you plan to rock the mullet? I'm thinking about the rest of my life. Caden even inspired me to grow a mullet. What do you think? To vote for Caden, go to mulletchamp.com and click on his picture. Voting ends October 11th. Vote for me, Tampa Bay. I got the winning mullet. In Newport Ritchie, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.